How is an external thread created on a lathe? And what's behind a large spherical shape in the workpiece? That's exactly what we'll show you in this program. The machining process starts with facing to create a clean surface for the following operations. After that, the material is gradually removed, first roughly during roughing and then more precisely during finishing, until the final shape is achieved. An interesting step in this program is cutting the external thread. Thanks to this cycle, there's no need to program each individual pass of the tool. Instead, you simply enter a few important parameters. In this program, that means target diameter of the external thread 24 mm, thread depth Z minus 21.5 mm, thread pitch 2 mm per revolution, depth of cut per pass, meaning how much material the tool removes in a single pass, is 1.23 mm, number of passes 8. This means the thread is cut in 8 steps. After completing the first side, the workpiece is reclamped either automatically using a subspindle or manually in the simulation, for example with the command G30Q1. Depending on the dimensional difference between the first and second clamping, the work offset is either shifted or, as in this case, newly set using G55. The second side also starts with facing, roughing and finishing. But this time the workpiece receives a special feature a large spherical shape on its face side. This is programmed using G3. Instead of connecting many short straight lines, the machine moves in one smooth arc. This not only saves programming time, but also ensures an especially smooth surface finish. With that, the workpiece is completely machined, featuring an external thread, precise contours and a smooth spherical shape on the second side. 